Welcome to the animation setup tutorial for Volta. So we're carrying on from the character setup tutorial. And right now if I open this map and hit play, we've got a character with no animation instance and no vaulting animation set up. Now if you're making your own game, you probably have a character running around already. And I am still going to cover just um, starting with Voltit's animation graph and we're going to go over the graph a little bit first. So there's a blueprint in a C++ version. Blueprint runs in a virtual machine, it's incredibly slow. The other thing is if you click on class setting and there's this option warn about blueprint usage. Now you see this little lightning bolt. It says fast path enabled. This node is not using any blueprint calls to update its data. Yet the thing is, this is actually multi-threading, so it's really ambiguous. So losing this and triggering that warning is actually a rather catastrophic performance loss. The other catastrophic performance loss is described right here. Doing this in blueprint, it's going to cost you. So there's a C++ version that does exactly this. So if you must work in Blueprint, just use the vaulting animation instance and extend that in Blueprint. At least some of it will be done on Turk. And it will give you these properties as well, already calculated. So if you are coming from another setup, which is MoveIt or uh, any other locomotion system or setup. The only thing you need to care about is this here goes into output pose, this whole setup. Whatever setup you have, it gets a slot for vault, it gets a vault cache, and then it does this. And this is always at the end of your animation graph because vaulting technically overrides any other action. So that makes it very easy when you look at it that way. So we're going to retarget the C++ version. So it's parented to VI anim instance. Of course, you can um, come in here, file, repair, not on this one though, reparent it to VI anim instance if you want to. But first we need to retarget it. So this is actually just a third person animation blueprint. And what I was saying was with fast path is epic setup isn't good enough. So you'll notice I have a boolean for is jumping rather than just is in air, but then also have is in air. So I only play a jump animation if you actually jumped. And it checks for actually jumping based on you ascending rather than descending, not any input. The other thing is blending out. It has built-in functionality just by ticking this and setting a duration. Yet they manually checked it, which prevents fast path. So those are things to watch out for, and that also covers the very basic setup for the animation graph. So this is basically the third-person blueprint, uh, template blueprint, but with Voltit and with fixes for their frankly shoddy code. So I'm just going to rename this from third person to VI great stone, I suppose. So save that. And yeah, um, retargeting, if you get a bad result, that's an Unreal Engine issue, so I'm not going to spend time going through that. You can ask for help in the Discord server, but that's kind of a community thing rather than a me thing. So now that I've assigned it, and I hit play, you can run around and so forth. Of his weapon clips, but that doesn't matter. So, if you just had the third person template, 
all you'd really have to do is just plug in this at the end. Well, that covers the animation graph setup. The next topic is right here in the warnings, the control rig setup. So it's currently using the control rig for the mannequin, which is, um, yeah, not, not very helpful to us. So I'm going to double click it, this, just to open it up. And yeah, it's a bit creepy because these locations are in world space and just set to zero because they're not being computed. They're computed when you vault. So I'm going to select all of these except for solve and just control c to copy obviously and then we're going to make a bulk it folder animation control rig control rig create cr graystone both hands and paste i'm not going to pop those up just yet because we need to go to rig hierarchy Import hierarchy and select our mesh. So he comes in, and now I can connect this up. And yeah, he collapses a bit, that's normal. If you're missing the My Blueprint tab, just under the window menu. So we need to make two variables, and they're both going to be vectors, right? And location. So they're these here. They are vectors and they must be exposed. So you duplicate that and do the left. So now if I compile, he's now doing what the mannequin's basically doing. And it looks very strange, but that's all right. And I'm gonna duplicate this once. We'll pull it right hand. And the point of this is we have we can blend between which one based on which hands are um, being used for full body IK. So I remove the left hand nodes. Now you just need to remove the left hand itself. Remove array element, and then remove left hand location and compile. Now this is a control rig where it's using full body IK only with the right hand. Duplicate it again and call it left hand. Um, if your skeleton doesn't have the Unreal Naming Convention, you will need to have changed the bone names here. Oh, I did forget to mention that. So, just so it's not confusing, I'm going to rename this to left hand location. I'm going to go hand L and hand L here as well. Compile that. So, those are the three control rigs we need. So let's open up his animation blueprint again. So the right hand for the control root class. The left hand. And both hands. We'll save that and compile. But we can't test it yet because we don't have any animations that actually use full body or AK. So we're going to get those now. So we come to the third person vault animation folder and just take these montages here. We'll retarget those. I'm going to change the vault to the eye graystone. And the montages will um, pull the actual animations along with them. That's why we just do the montages. Okay. So now we come to the uh, character blueprint. See the animations here? We just need to change these to greystone. Okay, so now we have the um, vaulting animation set. So there's a little helper in the Voltic content folder under blueprints is a height actor. Grab him. Just rotate him forward. So at a height of 190, the closest animation is 200. 
So it said in the upper right corner that it was playing a 190.1 height and uh, animation is 200. So this seems to be about 0.1 off because it has some like string based rounding, but that's okay. So we can move this a bit. We should use the 250 now. There we go. We pull it all the way down. It uses the 100. Okay, so that's our character set up with Volter. We now have a player character that can vault. It's actually really that simple. It will work in multiplayer. Everything is set up and good to go. All right, thank you for watching.